In the quantum realm, things can get super weird and totally defy our everyday logic. They often create quantum paradoxes. These are events, theories, or situations that break the rules we're used to and challenge our understanding of reality. How exactly? Well, let's take a look. Did you know that you can be in two places at once? Well, at least in the quantum world, particles can. They can be in multiple places all at the same time, as if they're some sort of quantum twins. Or even be in two different states at once, like famous Schrodinger's cat. This incredible phenomenon is called superposition. It's actually a really weird and kind of creepy thing. Let's try to explain it. Imagine you have a box, and you know there's some animal inside the box, either a rabbit, a kitten, or a puppy. But you don't know which one for sure. Now, in classic physics, things are pretty simple. One of the animals is inside the box, and once you open it, you'll know which one. But quantum physics teaches us that the world is actually much more complicated than that. In the quantum world, something extraordinary happens. Instead of finding just one animal, you see superposition of all three animals at once. The cat, the dog, and the rabbit seem to coexist simultaneously. They're basically a cat-dog-rabbit all at the same time. Sounds crazy, right? And here's the most interesting part. As soon as you open the box and observe the animals, the superposition collapses. You'll see only one animal, let's say the cat. Why? Because as soon as particles find out that you're observing them, they choose to show you only one of the states. So you lose the information about the dog and the rabbit that were in the superposition. For you, there was only a cat in the box the entire time. Which is why you never notice superpositions in your daily life. Now, that's extremely spooky, isn't it? And the same works with quantum teleportation. One quantum particle can hang out in two places at the same time. But when we actually observe the particle, it suddenly decides to show up in only one place, as if the particle knows that it's being watched. The physicists have been arguing over why this happens. They have some hypotheses, but unfortunately, right now, they are impossible to test. They used to have a theory, but after conducting an experiment, this theory didn't hold up. So now, we're left with nothing again. Scientists are trying to create superpositions on purpose instead of waiting for random events. Let's hope that one day, we'll understand this strange phenomenon. Next, let's talk about the super-famous einstein podolsky rosen paradox, or EPR paradox. Have you ever heard of the weird phenomenon called entanglement? It sounds complicated, but it's actually very simple. Imagine you have two particles. Let's call them particle A and particle, I don't know, B. When these particles become entangled, something incredible happens. Their properties become mysteriously linked together. So let's say you separate them by a long distance. Now, if you measure, for example, the rotation of particle A, you'll instantly know the rotation of particle B. And whatever happens to particle A, particle B will instantly know about it and vice versa. And it doesn't matter how far away they are. They might be trillions of miles between them, and it still works. So the particles are magically communicating with each other, sharing information instantly. It's like they're telepaths. Funny enough, even Einstein called this phenomenon spooky. And here's why. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, information can only travel at or below the speed of light. Yet with entanglement, it seems like each particle knows what the other is up to right away, faster than with the speed of light. Einstein wasn't too thrilled about this paradox. He couldn't wrap his head around how particles could communicate instantaneously defying his theory of relativity. But quantum entanglement has been proven experimentally over and over again, which means that something doesn't add up. We need to keep exploring to find out where the mistake is in our calculations and theories. Next up, there's this totally bizarre experiment called the double slit experiment. It's a total game changer in the wild world of physics. Now picture this, you have two narrow parallel slits. Let's say you send some waves through them. They'll create an interference pattern on a screen. But if you take light, it's not exactly a wave. It's both waves and particles at the same time. So scientists wanted to know what would happen 
if they sent light particles, called photons, through two slits. They thought that if they sent the photons through one by one, they'd see a simple pattern on the screen. But boy, were they in for a surprise! Even when the photons were sent individually, something strange happened. They formed an interference pattern on the screen, just like waves do. Okay, that's kinda weird. Scientists got curious and wanted to know which slit each photon went through. So they set up detectors to spy on the photons. And guess what happened? The interference pattern disappeared. All this is definitely very spooky. As if the photons also knew they were being watched and decided to behave differently. But wait, it gets even weirder. Scientists got crafty and tried another funky experiment. They split the photons into identical pairs. In other words, made them entangled. So one photon went on its merry way and created the interference pattern. Then they sent the other one, which was spied on and went to a detector. Sneaky, right? Now, logically, here's what should have happened. One photon goes through the slits, creates a pattern, and the other one just doesn't create anything. But prepare to get your mind blown. The second photon, the one that was spied on, ruined the original interference pattern. Even if scientists tried to delay the detection, it didn't help. In other words, the observed photon could change something that has already happened. It literally altered the past. Time travel vibes, anyone? Oh, and speaking about time, the regular double-slit experiment is still not the weirdest one. Recently, scientists have done a funky thing that shows this famous experiment isn't just about space. It's about time, too. In the original double-split experiment, light waves went through narrow gaps in space. But guess what? In this new experiment, they passed through slits in time. Yes, you heard that right. They used an infrared laser and shone it at a special material, like the stuff you find in smartphone screens. After that, they pulsed a second laser at the material surface. But at that moment, something incredible happened. The material's properties changed and it reflected the first laser beam. When they pulsed the second laser only once, nothing changed. It was all nice and single-colored. But when they pulsed the second laser twice in a row, the first laser formed an interference pattern. This is temporal interference. It's like time was playing a funky game with the light. The waves of light started to mix and mingle in a complex way, creating an interference pattern, only when they pulsed the second laser just in time. Think of it like this. Imagine you have two songs playing simultaneously. And suddenly, they blend together to create a unique harmony. In the experiment, the waves of light are the songs, and when they meet at specific times, they create an interference pattern. Researchers also tried similar time-based experiments with water waves and electromagnetic waves. Sound waves are next on the list. Scientists are super excited about this because it tells us a bit more about our world and opens up new possibilities for technology. This temporal difference could be super useful. It could help us make better antennas for future networks, like 6G. It could also help us make quantum computers and time crystals. However, scientists are still scratching their heads over how this whole thing works. It's one of the biggest mysteries in the realm of quantum mechanics. And there are many more mysteries to come. Will someone crack the code of the universe someday? Who knows? So, watch this space.